Hey folks, your OS Reviews. You're watching our video first look and unboxing impressions of two types of gadgets we don't usually cover here, but then again, electronics and gadgets can reach into a wide range of our uh, daily activities and, and lifestyle products, and here are two examples of that. So first off, we have a travel accessory, which is a digital luggage scale. It's quite useful if you're always traveling and you're afraid of being overweight, for instance, on a certain carry-on luggage, and you simply use the scale uh, and tug on your luggage with it uh, strapped on, and it tells you the weight. The second is more of a kitchen gadget. It's a typical um, kind of a temperature or a touchscreen thermometer and also a timer, um, but it has again that resistive touchscreen display, which is a kind of unique and has a backlight as well. So in terms of packaging, we're taking a quick look at the thermometer first. This is what it looks like, and you can find it on Amazon for about $30. It's not too expensive. And what's nice about this is it comes with uh, two sets of uh, these temperature uh, thermometer kind of prongs, which you can attach into the sides and clean off and of course reuse. Uh, the back of the packaging looks like this, so it's gonna be useful if you're cooking a lot of proteins with some kind of convection on the oven or perhaps with a pan and you're trying to achieve perhaps the, fer the perfect uh, cook, uh, you can of course try and use this to you know change that. It is a smart thermometer, so it's also going to tell you, uh, per for instance, you can program it to tell you the temperature it should be at for a specific type of meat. So for instance, it's gonna recognize turkey, beef, pork, veal, lamb, chicken, ham, and fish. So that's kind of interesting. Works of course with ovens and barbecues as well. and has that timer function, so you can just unplug it and use it as a traditional clock or timer if you want to. Um, these, we're going to take a closer look at this first, so it has this protective seal over the touchscreen. Again, it's a resistive touchscreen, not capacitive, so that's something to quickly note. The back features magnets, which means it can attach onto a refrigerator as well for kind of easier storage, and there's a dedicated power on controls. It takes two AAA batteries, which are not included. We're going to pop that in right now. And otherwise we can just turn this part on so it says that we can either measure the cook so that's going to be for the temperature or we can turn it to the timer settings so if we try the timer first this is the interface for that again it is touch sensitive so I can change the seconds for instance and then arrange a specific time or of course touch this for a minute and once I'm ready I can just tap on this for it to start and once it stops it has a monochromatic kind of beep that will start to sound to alert you that the time is up and you should check um, you know the oven perhaps and if we turn it over again to the cook setting, um, again, this is a monochrome black and white screen, so it doesn't drain as much power, and it still remains fairly visible. So right now it's a default add to beef. It tells you the average temperature, and also, of course, you can set this up and change the protein pretty easily. When you're ready, just take one of these uh, prongs, and you can attach it onto the sides. There is a proprietary uh, attachment on the side there, and you insert this, and of course, stick this into the actual protein in the meat to get the accurate temperature reading. And of course, that part uh, works fairly well, as you saw there. So it does change. You can change it between degrees C and degrees F as well. So that is the first kind of kitchen gadget. The second one is the uh, the weight. This is what the packaging looks like. This one sells for about 15 bucks. And again, could be useful if you are a frequent flyer and it has also a backlight function with the monochrome screen and also has an auto off 60 second uh, function. It takes, it looks like one lithium iron CR2032 cell battery, uh, which is decent because it's a standard cell battery that's quite easy to replace and there are rechargeable options available. However, it's not as good as a standard AA or AAA since it still is gonna be a bit more expensive over time. So here's that, it also comes with a quick start guide. This is what the scale, digital scale looks like. It has this interesting brush aluminum finish on the front along with a power on off switch and that's basically it. You just tap on this to calibrate it as well. And the back features the battery compartment with that uh, cell battery so that there's a seal that we need to remove first before we can actually use this. So we unplug this and then pop this back in. And again, the backlight is already on, so it tells us that we can start measuring the weight. All right, so doing a quick demonstration with a laptop bag. I'm gonna set this to zero really quickly. And afterwards, you just attach this uh, band that's included with the scale onto the sides of the pack. So in this case, we have it over the handlebar and we simply lift it up and you can see that the weight of the bag will change accordingly. Um, other otherwise, it uh, isn't as stable as again, a traditional uh, scale. So it fluctuates a bit more, especially if you kind of lift in the air and it kind of moves around. You can kind of see the digits and the numbers start to kind of play around there. Even if we just kind of half lift it up, you can still kind of see uh, th that effect into play. So again, it will change a bit more and fluctuate a bit more. But you can get the rough idea of uh, what the weight is. And as long as it's in the, about the same ballpark under a certain limit, I think that you'll be fine. So it does work fairly well. And when you're done, again, simply unhook it with the metal, metal strap on the sides there. And then the scale itself can be tucked away just by putting this back onto the loop and then folding 
the uh, strap in, tucking it back, and you're ready to go again. All right, so that's been our video first look and unboxing first impressions of two travel and kitchen gadgets that you might find. They're pretty handy and the tech behind it is indeed quite simple, but uh, useful again if you are cooking and also perhaps traveling and you want to find out perhaps the weight of a specific luggage piece uh, that you have with you. So thanks for watching this video first look here at OS Reviews. You can check out more details about both of these in the links below and we'll post a quick article on our website soon as well. Thanks for watching here at OS.